Well, big week this week, y'all. It started off with another reminder that Donald Trump is nothing like regular Americans as he got a break on his bills. How about that? Must be nice, right? Yeah. That's right. A judge granted him an extension on his bond and cut it more than in half to $175 million. How's he going to raise all that money? Well, last week I predicted it'd be commemorative plates. Turns out I wasn't thinking trailery enough. That's right. No, he's going to partner with Lee Greenwood to offer a new line of Trump branded God bless the USA Bibles. Damn, that's like a Mad Lib designed to make your papaw's wiener move a little bit, ain't it? I assume in the Trump Bible, Jesus is the first American who founds the Republican Party, turns water into black rifle coffee, and magically arms a whole crowd of his followers with only five ARs and two mag clips. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Obviously, the biggest news this week was Joe Biden using the powers of immigration and diversity to destroy that bridge in Baltimore like a commie magneto. At least that's what the right wing nuts would have you believe. That's right. They, they brought up immigration because they found out the boat wasn't American. I guess they saw it was flying a flag other than our own. And they were like, we're being attacked by sea Mexicans, y'all. And then it was pointed out, no, that boat's from Singapore. And they were like, well, they're different and bad, too. And then they further found out that that Singapore company employs DEI policies. And they're like, well, that's it right there. Diversity. Nobody's hiring white people anymore. Even a Chinese country like Singapore needs white people to do boat stuff. It's like, what are you talking about? Every indication is this was nothing more than a horrific industrial accident, but we all know there is no unfortunate truth that these people cannot mutate into an imbecilic and hateful falsehood, right? In less than four hours, they had concocted all manners of senseless bat shittery to try to pin this on the Biden administration, and yet we all know that the next time a bunch of school kids get shot in this country and someone dares to suggest we revisit our gun policies, these same people will be up in their face like, you don't politicize a tragedy, you monster. Ain't that America? Finally this week, noted liar and failure, Ronna McDaniel was hired and almost immediately fired by NBC News after backlash from pretty much everywhere. Quick side note, every time I hear her name, I want to go into a Scottish brogue, you know, Ronna McDaniel, because I once encountered a lassie with a very similar name in Inverness, eh? but I can't do that because that's not fair because the Scots are very lovely and reasonable people and Ronna McDaniel is a treason tumor. My favorite part of this whole thing is how much MAGA hates her too, even though she sold her soul, attacked our democracy and wrecked her own reputation in an effort to appease them. They still can't stand her. Why? Because she was unable to get their slate of slavering, rage-fueled lunatics elected to the highest offices in the land. These people came to her and they were like, hey, you see this rabid badger? Yeah, we tied a Bible to its back and taught it narcissism. We need you to get it elected to the Wisconsin 4th, all right? And when she was unable to do that, they called her a rhino and ran her out of town. That's right. There ain't no hate like MAGA's love, y'all. All right, listen to you two. We got more in a second, but I wanted to say 2024 is not getting any less crazy. It's never been more important to know where your news is coming from. That's why I want to tell you about this week's sponsor, Ground News. Ground News is a startup in service that aims to combat bias in the media by adding context and transparency to all the news you consume. Let me show you how it works. We're going to click on this one because it's related to what I was talking about. Trump trying to raise money. I said, you know, he's using the Bibles. He's got other plans too. He's got this stock going, the Trump media stock. And you can see here immediately you get a coverage breakdown and a summary of bias distribution. Most of this reporting is coming from the center. So there's that. And then down here, you got all the articles and the headlines. And for each article, immediately before you even click, you get all this extra information. You can see who owns it, the degree of factuality, and the political bias, right? And you can notice the difference in these headlines here, like mixed factuality. These are kind of more sensationalist. Mean, mean stock mania comes roaring back. You know, Trump media is the new bed, bath, and beyond. But you see one that has more high degree of factuality. It's a more journalistic approach. They surge despite questionable profit prospects taking on the meme stock mantle. It gives you this insight into your news that you're not going to otherwise have. And that's just some of the many incredible things about ground news, specifically their election coverage section of the website. They got a handy dandy countdown up here in the top, just so we know when November comes. Also, this is where they put all their election coverage happening right now. Starts off with one of my favorite features on ground news, the blind spot feature. This shows you things that are not being covered on either side of the political spectrum. So you can reach outside of your bubble a little bit right now. Not being reported on the left, the story of a migrant in Alabama being arrested for rape not being reported on the right this story about uh, a lack of ev charging stations and i would say that both sides would say that's due to fear mongering either about immigration or about climate change just depends on your perspective but either way you can see stories you wouldn't see elsewhere 
All right, so if that sounds good to you, click the link in the description below to stay informed on all current events. You can try it out for free, or you can use that link to get 40% off their highest tiered Vantage program. That's right, now's the time. 2024 is the year y'all push back on the bias and BS. Do better with your information. Try Ground News today. All right, and we're back, YouTube. Listen, another thing I didn't get to yet that happened this week is RFK Jr. named a running mate. That's right, tech billionaire Nicole Shanahan, who I guess was uh, once married to the Google feller, and then she had an affair with Elon, and now she's running for vice president. It's like a Silicon Valley plot line come to life, y'all. What a world we live in. You know, the rumors for a while were that he was going to pick Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback. And I say, dude, after all them 49ers playoff losses and now this, Aaron Rodgers can't beat out of Shanahan to save his damn life. Can he? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I kind of hoped it would be Aaron Rodgers because we all, I felt like even if he had done pretty well during the regular campaign season, we all knew he'd choke it away at the finish line. You know, those are just a couple of jokes for my football people. But listen, I don't know much about Nicole Shanahan, but I have to assume if she's willing to run with RFK, she probably believes that commercial airliners are crop dusting us all with autistic trans powder. So that's fun. Most people are saying it's just because of her money. She's got a lot of cash. You need cash to run a campaign. Some people are even suggesting she essentially bought her way onto this ticket, right? And I got to say, y'all, using the power of divorce to fund a high-level political campaign with an unhinged and incompetent Nepo baby is some of the most appropriately American dystopian shit I can think of. So at least there's that. Listen, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to put my special up here. You click on that. Watch that some bitch. If you ain't seen it, you can subscribe to the channel in one of these little round circles. Get me all these videos, my podcasts, other fun stuff. Most important one to me, this other circle, that's TreyCrowder.com. That's my website where you can see tour dates where I come to cities and do stand-up comedy live. That's what I really am, a stand-up comedian. It's very fun. If I come near you, come see me. Go to TreyCrowder.com. Most importantly, as long as y'all keep watching these silly tirades, I'll keep making them. I love you like chicken. See you next time.